All right. What is up? What is up? What is up? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, so far I haven't seen anyone complain about the audio level, so I think uh, we have a pretty good uh, audio level, uh, hopefully. And, of course, it's not too loud because before, when I would have it at the uh, settings I have it now, it would be way too loud. People were like, it's way too loud. It's hurting my ears. So it's like, and the other people were saying it's too low. I was like, oh, so... But yeah, that's why I ultimately bought this boom mic, right? It was like 40, 50 bucks on Amazon. And I paid extra 20 bucks for like extras or something. For like a 48 volt phantom power thing. And I got probably dusted off a little bit just for the hell of it. Okay, so. Uh, so I've been watching Ninja Money for like a few days. It looks pretty good. Uh, it actually looks very good. Uh, they implemented... Oh, I have to... Oh, I forgot to do this. Which means I gotta log in. Uh, give me a second here. But anyway, I've been watching this for a few days. It turns out that Renzo has already... Yeah, this is Binance Smart Chain. Uh, Renzo has already covered this project. So, eh, we could do four hours. Uh, so, one hour... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do one hour. So, it's obviously a very new project, right? But, I mean, it's already... Uh, I mean, it's already been vetted by Tomb Raiders, all right? Because they're in there. And, you know, they have contract renounced, and they also keep locking liquidity, which, of course, costs money. Unless unless the service, which is cryptexlock.me, does it for free, but I kind of doubt it, all right? Because, you know, because I don't even know how that works. I just know that when you lock it, it just gets locked. So they locked for, like, a week, and then yesterday it expired, and then they just said on the Discord yesterday that they immediately relocked for six months. In fact, I wonder if this link is updated correctly. Or maybe it's the same link. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's the same link, actually. But yeah, it's locked until September 5th of 1800. So I don't know if it's 1800 for me or whatever, but whatever. It's locked for six months, so as of this video. So very, very nice. And, you know, the TVL has been going up nicely. So anyway, <clears throat> first things first. All right, so far, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a new project, so still keep that in mind. But, I mean, it seems pretty fine. And again... Tomb Raiders and other things check out, so, you know, they have a renounce, at least on the base token, so that's all you need. So they stealth launched, so again, very good, and that's also why it's very low, but the prices are very stable, and so is the supply. Uh, this actually is pegged to one Binance coin, right, so 100 to 1 ratio, so it's a little confusing, right, so, but basically... It already translates the thing for you here, right? So 1.4, yeah, because I look at this, right, for the peg, right? One, so basically it's above peg by 43.62%, right? So, and that's good. And of course, if you haven't already noticed, this is using the smart APR system, as I call it. I've been spreading that around, too. And then I actually uh, met Brando, like the actual Brando. Uh, in the Rare Finance Discord. And actually, no, he actually advised on Coats and Finance and, uh, and Rare Finance. So he actually confirmed that what I call a smart APR system, he already told people about it. So it's like, oh, shit. So without knowing anybody, essentially, I was able to figure out what multimillionaires are doing. So that puts me in a very good spot. But I mean, I kind of already knew I was going to be a multimillionaire anyway, right? I mean, it's just a matter of time. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it'll happen this year. And since Caesar is popping off, because it went as high as like 81, 85 cents or whatever, right? Now it's down because obviously, you know, it's got to pull back. Or I was like wondering, when's this thing going to pull back? I and mean, if it goes up to like three cents, it's going to like crash to like one cent. But now it's pulling back, so it's nice and healthy. And I'm still way up. Like I'm actually still deep in profit. So if, it, if I wanted to, I could dump everything and make a, a crap load of money. Of course, I'm not going to do that because that would be the most stupidest thing I'd ever do. Uh, do. So, so yeah, so basically, so it turns out when I first started looking at it, I was like, oh man, they're screwing up the rewards for ninja money, right? Because I looked at the documentation and they actually told you what the rewards are. Of course, the shares are over 12 months, so that's good. Uh, one of these things here said something of, uh, where is it? Dow fund tokens distributed. Contract. Let me see if I can find a platform. Okay, this is 
Da, 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 da. Oh, I think they actually updated it. Oh, they actually updated the documentation. Because before, the documentation actually showed way more end share rewards, and then the Ninja BNB LP had much less. So they actually just updated it. Okay. But when, I, but when I looked at it, I then compared it to the APR here, right? And I actually noticed that their farms actually uh, were correctly changed to what it should be, the smart APR system. So right now, Ninja BNB pays 17. I mean, this thing keeps fluctuating, but it's actually somewhere around 17.65 to like 26%. So I'll just see what it is, all right? And then you look at N shares, right? basically 11%, so obviously it's underweighted, which is correct. And of course you got the boardroom. So it's basically the APR is the same. It's a little more than this, I think, right? Yeah, it's a little more than this. And then, oops. But then the base token pair, of course, is higher. That's really what matters is as long as this is the highest pool of the base token pair, then that, that's all that matters. And then apparently he's just added the uh, Ninja N share LP. I mean, I'm still not really sure about the effects of something like this, though. Uh, but, I mean, I guess we'll see. And, you know, the TVL is very low, so that's why the APR looks very high. So we'll have to see what it is when it balances out. Oh, so that's actually probably why uh, the APR has just went down, because he's got a new pool out. So, I mean, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these, because, like, I don't know, I... I I mean, I don't actually know. I mean, personally, I think if I were to do it, I would just simply have single staking ninja in this case. But I don't know. I mean, if the community, you know, if community people, you know, want it, then you know, we'll we'll see, and I'll just observe over time. In fact, I can actually check it because what does Rare Finance do? Because they're doing the Genesis pool later tonight, so I'll probably wait till maybe tomorrow or tonight well i'm not gonna do a video tonight so i'll probably wait till tomorrow to cover the new parallel thing for rare finance because i still actually cannot add the token unless i do it manually and in a very annoying way so let's see okay i love these peppers all right so yeah i mean they gotta do the same thing too so let's see yeah so as expected, the base token pair still has the overweight heavy, the R shares is less, and then the rare and rare share LP is actually the least. All right, so this seems to be the way you should do it because you should always make sure this has obviously the most and as much as possible. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, and he didn't obviously, and then obviously he just added the pool of devs, so the so it's not part of the documentation yet so we'll see what it is but i'm pretty sure he already knows because i already talked to him in the discord right i talked to him in the discord so they know to make sure that this thing is supposed to be the higher one right ninja bnb lp so actually i think i can figure it out if you double the tvl which is only five thousand right five thousand seventy the apr is going to go down by half which would put this at around 13 percent 13%. Yeah, so this is actually underweighted as well, correctly. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's too bad, though, because I really did like enjoying my 26% APR, but that's fine. This is still a ri ridiculous amount of APR anyway. I, I mean, I've been compounding this like crazy and taking a little bit of profit, because it actually turns out, because I only put in like $110, $120, maybe $130, I don't actually remember. But not too much because even something like that small was actually causing a little bit of a price impact. So I was like, oh, okay, just got to be careful. Which makes sense because obviously this is a very small project on purpose to avoid the botters and whales. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far they're doing the smart APR system, right? Because the rewards used to be heavily weighted towards the shares, right? And then he had changed it. So when I saw that, I, I knew that this project was good. And I was like, okay, I'm adding it to the queue. Well, I was going to add it to the queue no matter what, but it was not going to, I would have to say, it does not have the smart APR system. So therefore, I would not personally invest. But thankfully, I can. So, uh, so you could also see that they also carefully made sure that the token inflation doesn't go spiral out of control. Because look, the shares don't go up too fast, which makes sense because it's over 12 months. Uh, I would like to see a Tomb Fork someday try like 24, 36 months. I mean, what's the problem with that, all right? Because you can adjust the token inflation anyway, like in the pools. So 
draw it out for many years so you don't have to worry about creating a layer two and layer three, etc. Right? So I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to think of that. So I'm sure somebody will do it. All right? And I'll have the smart APR system. I'll cover it, of course. And then they're going to be on Yield Wolf, and I'm going to make even more money, all right? Because I'm up a lot today. I'm up a lot today because everything's going up today. So I'm, so I'm, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe uh, the mint market manipulators are going to dump on this shit again like they all you well, can get the global H word globalist. Just let us have like a couple of days and enjoy the freaking market, man. But anyway, token supply inflation looks very, very uh, minimal, and that's exactly what you want. You don't want anything too crazy, right? So it's gonna, so it's gonna be slow but steady. I'm perfectly happy with that. I mean, slow and steady, and making like 17 or 26 percent a day on the base token on a well-run project, even though they're a pretty small team. Hey, I'll take it any day. And of course, for those of you who like boardrooms, you still make like whatever this turns out to be every day. So I think that's like what, 10% a day or something? 11, 12, 13%. So you're still you're still making good freaking money, man. All right, so their dev team, because I couldn't find it, but they said they have one to three devs. One is always in the Discord, so that's the one you see. And then they have about three to four mods because they have a bunch of uh, different roles for their mods and I don't know what they mean. I just know it's like ninja, ninjutsu related katana sword stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you could just ask them about it. But, I just, but they have different colors and, and there's like a hierarchy. So so it's a pretty small team, but they're, they're, they obviously know what they're doing. Hey, it works for me. And so far they've been legit. So again, it's only the only issue is there's no Yield Wolf yet. Their documentation says... They're going to do it in April, which you know, kind of sucks. But for something like this, because, you know, it's like, well, I'm making money, good, smart APR system. All right. You know, I'll, I'll put up with it. Right. You know, because, you know, because my, my, my positions in this is already going up. Right. I, in fact, I've gone back to what I paid for it. Plus compounding, plus a little bit of extra profit, right? Because believe it or not, I actually dumped my one Binance coin to buy Titano because I'm waiting on Eris Finance launch, right? Because whenever that comes out. So I don't want my money just sitting in my wallet doing nothing, right? The only exception to that is, you know, my stable coin position. But that's because it's going to ship off to ultimately my fiat to crypto account so I can refill my bank account. Today's March 9th. Tomorrow my bills get paid. And then I'm going to have like $600 left in my bank account. So, you know, I have to fill up my uh, my bank account. All right, so I can make rent for <laughs> next month, you know. Otherwise, uh, you know, I'm going to fall behind. Because I actually closed some bank accounts, and that actually knocked down my credit score by like 30, 40 points. All right, I still have very good credit, but I don't have perfect credit anymore. All right, it's like, oh, yeah, you do close long-standing accounts. That actually negatively <laughs> impacts your credit. And I don't care. I mean, you know, whatever. I had to close the account anyway, so. All right. So anyway, let's see. I mean, I guess that's about it. I mean, you could just, I mean, there's not much. I mean, this, this project was launched uh, March 2nd, 2022. So I had standard pump and dump, right? Genesis and the dumper. And same thing with the shares. This has very little liquidity. Oh, so it's giving. Oh, you can't see because my camera's covering it. But this set, this is the standard warning saying there's a low liquidity. I don't know this isn't that bad. There's like six, there's like six Binance coin here. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. In fact, I don't even know why it's giving this error because I've seen launches where they only had like fifteen hundred liquidity, and the, and then the error goes away. Let me actually show you what I'm talking about on the upper right corner, right? With very low liquidity. Right, so I don't know why it's doing it for this, but. Yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, but with that being said, I, I sell like four dollars worth of end share, right, as my reward, so I could compare well, or eight dollars, right? Uh, and you know that actually does cause like a one to two percent in, uh, price impact as of right now. All right. So aside from that, there's not really much. You'll have to just manually compound, right? And then you can just go into whatever pool you know you want. Of course, you should do the base token pair. That's ultimately the because of course you know as you already know. If that loses peg, everything else goes down, right? Partial finance is actually recovering very nicely. I wish I had more money to stay in that position because it's already like went up 150%, right? And their shares are now starting to skyrocket too. So the APR on partial finance will also start increasing. 
But I'm very happy because I'm very. Uh, but you know, I have my p my p dollar partial finance position. It's doing very well. And when Rare Finance comes out with their stable coin, uh, Parallel Layer Two, right? It's, it's going to be really nice, right? It's, it's going to be endless amounts of money because I really want something stable. I need like a stable coin based thing. So, you know, Rare Finance is like the perfect solution. I was actually in their Discord yesterday, so they had a meeting and call and, you know, I was there for like a couple hours. So, you know, it's doing really well, it's doing really well. And then I guess eventually I'll need to introduce myself to like Brando. So, but, you know, whenever there, whenever there's time, you know, there's no, no real hurry. Because remember, I have God and Jesus Christ. I don't need anybody. In fact, I don't really need, want to have anybody. But it's just nice to have. So it's like, Oh, I have someone to hang out with. You know, that's really all I like doing. I just like hanging out with people. You know, and then I just, you know, if I feel generous, which is often, you know, I just give stuff out for free, right? It's just like what you're enjoying. Like, because I could easily charge people five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 per video of this, apparently. But I give it away for free. So that would be kind of nice to have that money, actually, because if I just do like five of these videos, then like I could buy my house in Florida and then get the hell out of here. So, but, you know, I, t I, I operate on faith, so, and it's working out very well for me, so I'm very happy about that. All right, so there's not much more to say. Um, I, it's like I woke up at like 6, 5 a.m. I'm a little groggy. I feel fine, but a little groggy. And to be honest, I don't really care about saying anything else, so I'm just going to check the markets real quick. So bonds are still selling off slightly in a very controlled fashion, so no red flags there. Stocks are up. Where is crude oil? It's down a little bit, having a correction. That's kind of shocking. In fact, stocks are way up. Interesting. Uh, the dollar is down. So, okay, so this makes sense, yeah. So pretty much cash is moving into stocks, obviously, and some of it went into cryptos as of last night. So, yeah, nothing, no, nothing, nothing insane. All right, so the next video will be zombie finance. Uh, it's actually a Genesis pool, but it's the layer two for gray finance. So I can just cover it and it'll be fine. But I kind of need to see if there, because I didn't come up with these, I didn't come up with the term for smart APR finance until like two days ago. So it was after the gray finance video. So unfortunately, Grave does not have it. So I still have a very small position in it to take advantage of the layer two Genesis launch. But, you know, we'll talk about that, but. Going forward, unless I have a very good reason for it, you know, I'm only investing in project with the smart APR system. So, I'll see you in the next video. Check out uh, ninjamoney.io. Again, it's a very small, stealthy project, which is hilarious because that's what ninjas do. They're, just, they're, they're quick and stealthy. It's a very small TVL, so you don't need to put in that much. Uh, in fact, you probably don't want to put in that much because then you're going to start running into price impact problems. And they're going very slow and steady. So... And yeah, I mean, good enough. I mean, because once this thing is on Yield Wolf, right, you know, it's going to really, you know, like I'm definitely going to like buy it. Actually, wait, what blockchain is this on? Binance, right? So I'm hoping by then Canaverse World will finally be up and running and I could take profits because I'm definitely going to have to take, I want to take more profit from it because I haven't been obviously earning anything because they're transitioning to contract version two. You know, I'm definitely going to take profits from that, like a few hundred bucks, and just buy up, buy up as much of this as I can, like, nin uh, like ninja stuff, and just just put in my yield wolf. And then I'll just be uh, easy street from there, pretty much. All right, see you uh, next video. I guess I'll leave this as the thumbnail, hopefully. And then, um, yeah, it'll be Zombie Finance, because they still haven't gotten their domain yet, so they're just launching with, the, like, the stupid-looking do domain. And then, so I'll include links to both uh domains in that one all right see you next video thanks for watching check out ninjamoney.io i put in a uh, hundred somewhere between 110 to 130 bucks and i already have a little bit of profit plus i don't know my position that could actually gone up in value so I, I don't know but yeah i'm technically in profit but obviously i'm just going to farm this you know and keep 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 compounding and taking a little profit and etc and then just own the whole thing right and then just uh, have nice in in income all right, see you next video. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 spread the video around. Thanks.